Antibiotics have emerged as a very important drug class. Probably no other drug has saved more lives than antibiotics do. But they also come with some problems. What has been not known and not appreciated enough is that these antibiotics actually also stress the bacteria within our cells, these mitochondria, which were responsible for energy production. These antibiotics have other benefits. For instance, if you give them to animals, you see that animals grow faster and grow fatter. And that has created a parallel circuit where these antibiotics are now in majority being used. Actually, up to 80% of the antibiotics made are used for these other non-medical uses in agriculture, in aquaculture, to improve actually livestock and the yield of livestock production. And that's why we're now facing with a big problem that we have so-called non-controlled, non-medical use of these antibiotics. The U.S. produces 14.8 million kilograms of tetracycline, which is a particular class of antibiotics. In Europe, 8 million tons are produced, yet use in agriculture is forbidden in Europe. The real issue comes with China, where we have 162 million kilograms of antibiotics being produced per year. And there the contamination is very heavy. There are reports that, for instance, the drinking water or the soil in China contains levels of antibiotics which kill bacteria. And this is really worrisome because that means everything's contaminated. The soil, the water, all our resources become contaminating, exposing us to low level stress. They're going to stress our mitochondria because we're going to eat it. We're going to eat fish from aquaculture, which has been exposed to antibiotics. We're going to eat animal meat, animal proteins, which contain antibiotics, meaning that we're chronically exposed to this low-level toxin, which empoisons slowly our mitochondria. Now, if we ever want to solve this, it's not us scientists who are going to solve it. It requires a political decision. It requires either this much better control on the abuse, I would call it, from antibiotics for agriculture. And probably we scientists can contribute by developing new classes of antibiotics which target these pathogenic bacteria but leave these mitochondria, these bacteria within our cell intact and don't harm them.